boys, it is actually happening. So you may remember this thread from Neil Gomper back in September. Fedora 40 change proposal, KDE Plasma 6 system wide. So in Fedora 40, it would ship Plasma 6. That part, nobody has an issue with. That's totally understandable. By then, it would be out and ready to use. The part they do have an issue with is for Fedora Linux, the transition to KDE Plasma 6 will also include dropping support for the X11 session entirely, leaving only Plasma Wayland as the sole offered desktop mode. This is not something being done by the Plasma project. This is something being done directly by Fedora of their own volition. I've spoken to Neil before, I've had him on the podcast, and from everything that I've heard, he had no interest in keeping X11 support around. But Neil is not the only person in the Fedora KDE SIG, so there had to be a vote done. A vote was done, and well... 11 days ago, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. This is now approved with six plus one after one week. Now, not everyone is 100% in favor of dropping X11 support. As discussed in the discussion thread, I think leaving it as an option even without official support would make some users happy, but I also understand why you want to only offer one option. The second option would create additional complexity and choices and maintenance costs, even if only to figure out what the user is actually running, so I think it's okay to try it as proposed. If there is pushback and issues are found, we can always add back the sub packages for X11. I'm plus one, but it might be nice if the contingency plan also did mention possibly enabling the X11 session if it was found to be needed before beta. Wholesale revert of six seems wrong for issues where users just need the X11 session. Of course, we hope that's not needed, but it might be an option if needed over just a complete revert. The result of this was then announced over on the Fedora mailing list. This is happening unless there is some like major technical issue discovered like I don't know, Plasma 6 doesn't ship in time for Fedora 40's release, or maybe there is some issue discovered that is causing computers to explode. If that is the case, it won't happen. But otherwise, Fedora 40, KDE, Wayland only. Whilst there is obviously a lot of unreasonable people, there are also a lot of people with entirely reasonable concerns on basically every side here. From the Plasma project itself, Wayland is the default of the project, Wayland is where the majority of the development is done, and it's going to be like that basically until something better comes along, but at this stage, nothing is there. The only way that would really change is if, I don't know, Red Hat steps up and says, we're going to modernize Xorg, we're going to deal with all of its problems, and we're going to maintain it until the end of time which is probably not going to happen because they're about to step away from the project. So Wayland is basically where it is. But there is a good reason why the project does not drop X11 support. Like, there are actual problems that still need to be addressed. Some of them are fairly minor problems. Things like session restored X Wayland windows go on the wrong screens and virtual desktops, so they just appear in the wrong place. Not that big of a deal. Picture-in-picture -picture windows from web browsers get a task manager icon and do not stay on top. Maximized X Wayland windows have pixel gaps between screen edges when using a fractional scale factor. Along with things that might be major issues like not all sticky key options work which might be a big deal if you need it for accessibility. Limited color management support which is getting a lot of work and is getting a lot better. This I wouldn't be surprised if it's mostly dealt with by the release of Plasma 6. One that probably won't be dealt with at the source is unusably poor performance on external screens with NVIDIA Optimus setup. They do have a workaround if the driver isn't fixed by the Plasma 6 release, and they're probably going to need to use the workaround. Along with the general Wayland issues that are present on every single desktop, like there not being a way for multi-window applications to choose where the window is going to be located. There is a protocol being worked on, but it's being worked on and it's definitely not going to be done by the time that Plasma 6 rolls around. You have apps that just need to use things like the video capture portal that don't. They just don't care about Wayland support and don't do it. 
And you have the fact that Wine still can't make native Wayland windows, and that's definitely not going to be done. There is a whole lot of stuff being done there. Most of the issues that I listed, and most of the issues on this page, are not going to be a blocker for every single user. However, at least a couple of these are probably going to affect you, and if they affect you enough, might be reason to not currently use the Wayland session. Whilst I've spoken to every KDE dev from the ones I have spoken to, there doesn't seem to be any short-term plans to drop the X11 session. Obviously, it's going to be dropped at some point in the future, but that future probably won't be during the Plasma 6 lifecycle, and if it is, it's probably not going to be for at least 5 plus years. Now, whilst other members of the KD SIG were certainly involved, Neil definitely seemed like the most active in the discussion, as Neil tends to be in pretty much anything he gets himself involved in. Now, sometime after the initial start of the discussion, a new part was added to the change document. Why drop the X11 session with the Plasma 6 upgrade? This seems to pretty much sum up the majority of Neil's argument. There is no such thing as a good time to do this. It is true that KD Plasma 6 is retaining support for the X11 session upstream. This is being done with the acknowledgement that it will be abandoned and unmaintained and potentially even removed midway through the lifetime of Plasma 6. As I said before, I have found no confirmation of this being the case. It's just sort of an assumption with the fact that Wayland is the default now. Everyone upstream understands the XORG server and its associated DDX software is effectively dead. The X11 session is being dropped in Fedora KDE because it is already two steps removed from being unmaintained. The Fedora SIG does not want to be put in a position where they have to do something about Plasma X11 and XORG under these circumstances. Given that Fedora KDE has used Plasma Wayland by default since Fedora Linux 34 and Plasma Wayland gets a serious upgrade in Plasma 6 from the already decent state of the Wayland session in Plasma 5, the KDE SIG is very confident in being able to switch fully over. This allows us to avoid a more painful switch later as we feel users will be more accepting of the change on the major version upgrade rather than some point later on a minor version. Basically, it's gonna happen eventually, so a major upgrade is pretty much the best time to do it. And going by the timeline of Plasma 5, the next major upgrade is probably going to be in 2033. Now, we hopefully all know by now that in a future release of RHEL, Red Hat is planning to drop the Exorg server. Why does this matter? Well, who do you think maintains the Exorg server? Red Hat employees. They are not the only ones, but they are the main ones. The reality is that Exorg is basically maintained by us, and thus once we stop paying attention to it, there is unlikely to be any major new releases coming out, and there might even be some bit rot setting in over time. We will keep an eye on it as we'll want to ensure Exorg stays supportable until the end of the RHEL 8 lifecycle at a minimum, but let this be a friendly notice for everyone who relies on the work we do maintaining the Linux graphics stack. Get onto Wayland, that is where the future is. Like it or not, Exorg is a ticking time bomb, and when Roll drops it, let's say they do so in Roll 10, you will have until, I want to say 2032, 2033, when Roll 9 falls out of support, and then after that, it's just done. There'll be a little bit of support from the OpenBSD guys, but that's pretty much it. But that is still quite a while away, so they're obviously going to be users concerned about doing it now. Couldn't it be done then when it actually is a problem to worry about? Most notably, David Revoy, who you might know as a fairly popular artist that makes use of FOSS tooling, like Fedora KDE, like Critter, and things like this. A distro without color management and that super limited tablet support screams to all artists, graphists, and designers that they are no longer welcome in this community. It is so sad and infuriating to feel rejected by the Fedora KD community in this way. I thought that I had finally found a good distro and I was happy to be able to advocate for it. But decisions like this clearly show that we're not important and that it's okay to sabotage our tools and workflows. We are literally pushed to the exit door. 
that's why from now on, I don't want to read any more about a dev of this community crying about why there aren't more artists, graphists, or designers in the free slash libre and open source movement, when it is clearly designed that way. I'll also have to communicate why this distro is a terrible choice and put a header warning on all my previous guides and publications on the topic. I don't buy the myth of release unfinished and let the community fix it. It's been 14 years. I see this toxic pattern and every time it just drives users away. Getting mono the calibrated and profiled is a basic necessity for me, something I could do on any distro in 2009. It hurts to see such regression. But, unlike most cases where something like this is said, it's not just thrown out there and then expect the developers to just know what they needed to fix. There was a really long back and forth about different people who are also artists using Wayland, about things that should be done, how it could be improved, what they're actually using themselves, what they need to be able to do, otherwise literally cannot use Wayland, the problem with the current interfaces, and it seems like a lot of good progress was made here, and I would imagine that by the time Plasma 6 rolls around, a lot of these problems are going to be dealt with, and color management, as I mentioned earlier, is a major focus, and they are trying to get everything ready and everything done. Because this is one of those places where, for someone who is a professional, they physically cannot use this system if color management isn't absolutely pristine. And not just color management, making sure that things like tablets are working properly, like being able to configure it the same way that you can configure it over on the X11 side, or preferably, if something is missing on that side as well, making it better. Now, I don't know if this is also the case for Plasma as well, but over on the GNOME side, there are some weird performance numbers, at least from early this year. So the red bar is Wayland, the purple bar is Xorg, the top set is AMD, the bottom set is NVIDIA. Higher is better. Now, AMD, the numbers are basically the same, with Wayland being slightly faster. But NVIDIA, there's clearly something going on here. Now, in some of the tests, the difference is not as big, but there is always this clear gap where the Xorg side is performing better on NVIDIA. This should not be happening, along with there just being general complaints about doing this. Removing X11 before upstream drop support doesn't make Fedora more cutting edge. Wayland is already the default in Fedora. This is merely removing options from users. The developers of KD Plasma plan on supporting X11 for Plasma 6. This isn't a decision being pushed by upstream. I totally understand the motive behind this decision, and yes, Wayland is the future, but not having an option to fall back to X11 when something goes wrong with Wayland is kind of a deal breaker for me. As mentioned through this thread and on the mailing list, there are still issues and weird quirks to prevent not only me from using Wayland by default for everything, but I still do try it from time to time to see if the situation is better. Maybe shipping the X11 Plasma stuff but marking it as unsupported slash deprecated somehow would be a good middle ground. I do not see how diverging from upstream and removing X11 improves Plasma. The proposal is to remove X11 support despite upstream still supporting it, to increase bug reports because Fedora 40 users will not be able to work around them by switching back to X11. This is not balancing the needs of the current users with the desire to improve software. You are prioritizing KD Plasma over the actual users of Fedora. That makes sense if Fedora's KDE spin is meant to be a playground for developers and beta testers, but not if the goal is to have a system meant for real world users. Now maybe it's just because I'm a giant Linux nerd that I know about stuff like this happening, but I don't understand how after 20 years, people still don't know what Fedora is. So let's go back in time a bit. This is when Pulse Audio was made the sound server. Fedora 8, one of the very first distros to do so. This is when System D was made the init system. Fedora 15, the first major distro to adopt System D. Let's jump ahead quite a bit. ButterFS by default, Fedora 33. Pipewire by default, Fedora 34. Wayland by default for Plasma. Fedora 34. Wayland by default on NVIDIA on the GNOME session. Fedora 36. And now with Fedora 40, Plasma 6, and Wayland only.
Do you see a trend here? Because I do. The trend is that Fedora is a fairly early mover on a lot of tech. They're not the first time every single time. But they're often doing things before most other distros hop on board. And this is nothing new. This is exactly what Fedora has always been doing. Last year there were videos coming out saying Fedora is the new Ubuntu. It's not. Ubuntu and Fedora are very, very different projects. Ubuntu is fairly conservative with the changes they make, and they even have that LTS release. You can grab the prior LTS and just not even acknowledge the change for a couple more years. Fedora... Fedora moves quickly. Not so quick that they're just breaking people's sessions for the sake of breaking it. But when something looks like it is going to be the thing that everybody is using in a couple of years, somebody's got to be first... So it might as well be Fedora. So, what do you think about this change happening? Do you think it is a good idea? And do you actually run Fedora KDE? Or are you just complaining from the outside for the sake of complaining? I would love to know. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, the Libero Pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and... I didn't think it would actually happen.